Hello there YouTube, I am Jax Colon. Cheers. Okay, so I just finished watching Eastern Promises, directed by David Cronenberg. And by just, I mean just right now. I'm, I muted it and the credits are still playing right now. My initial reaction, very good, very awesome. I rented it because when I saw the clip in the Oscars, I just, it just reminded me uh, that I needed to go get out and see this movie. I'm a big Vigo fan, even though he seems like he's a bit of a nut job in real life. A little kooky, but hey man, I don't care. He's friggin' great on screen, and that is still true in this movie. I won't necessarily say that David Cronenberg's my favorite filmmaker. You know, I kind of find the dialogue and the story itself, the storyline, um, kind of clumsy a little bit. Not really hacky, per se, but maybe like a little flat-footed. Not so much in the terms of the dialogue, although it's, you know, it doesn't seem quite real. With uh, that being said about the script and the storyline, the characters I still feel are really complex and uh, multi-layered, and that goes for everybody. As far as visually, the shooting style isn't necessarily very interesting, but again, I find it, you know, it's simple, it's to the point, you know, the, the shots aren't overly elaborate, but they're certainly not badly composed, and it's, they still bring out an emotional feeling. So I feel like it's completely accurate, uh, <laughs> adequate. Yeah, all, all the performances are great. Vigo, Naomi Watts. Um, I forget. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look the other guy up too. The um, the boss's son. He did a very good job. Vincent Cassell, who I definitely recognize. I can't think of anything else offhand that he's been in, but he was in it. He was really good in it as well. And it was also kind of a refreshing thing. I don't. You don't see a lot of movies uh, that focus on mob activity that have to do with the Russian mob. And there's a, there's a, but the Russian mob is a very different kind of beast than the, you know, what we constantly think of as the mob, which is the Italian mafia. And it's, it really shouldn't be called the mob because it's not really the same kind of animal. But there's a lot of history there and there's a lot of symbolism a lot of uh, there's a lot of fodder for you know storytellers i definitely got really engrossed in the story despite of maybe technically some of the shortcomings that one could level against it but i don't feel like any of that took away from the movie and i got and i got very drawn into the story so great great achievement for david cronenberg who i'm glad to see is uh, making movies a little more frequently now and I would definitely check it out if you're a fan. <laughs> Again, I go back to my rule that if a movie is about hitmen or vampires, I'm nine, ten out of ten, nine times out of ten, I'll like it. So if you feel like you're one of those people too, I would definitely check out Eastern Promises. And I'm going to give it four punches in the face. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.